Well, good morning, friends. I am coming to you from a very <laughs> unique place today. I am in Cappadocia in Turkey, and this is actually the top place that I wanted to see on this journey. So what Cappadocia is probably most well known for is their hot air balloon flights. But what a lot of people don't know is that this whole area is actually a very unique geographical location where thousands upon thousands of years ago volcanoes erupted covered the whole area in ash and over time with erosion uh, just the harder sort of structures were left so as you guys can kind of see right behind me uh, the area that we're in right now is called the fairy chimneys which are the larger sort of uh, you know spheres coming up from the ground but there's a whole bunch of different places with a lot of really unique sort of cutouts in the stronger stone that was left and during the Roman period uh, lots of Christians who weren't able to practice their religion actually fled to this area as a sort of refuge and they built these very interesting cave homes into the rock as I'm about to show you guys. So we are going to have a full day of exploring here today. We do have to leave in the morning sadly hoping that I will be able to see the hot air balloons take off but either way I'm really excited to be here and just check out the area. So I'm actually inside one of the cave homes right now and it's so surreal because it really does look like a house. Like there are, if you guys can see, little places where they probably stored things, I assume. I don't know, maybe they had baths in there, who knows. But yeah, there's like windows, probably slept on the floor and it looks like there's even like an attic up there or something. So. Really actually looks like a house for how old it is. So this right here is actually a church because I'll show you guys in just a sec. There is a sort of cross kind of carved into the stone. So as you guys can see right here, this is the cross. And up here was probably the main entryway into the church. I don't think we can go inside, but uh, it does look like they have some interesting sort of carvings. I'm not sure what the lower sort of part was. And then over here, there's even some lower sort of entrances. But it makes me wonder how large the people were, because some of the openings are pretty small and you'd have to be pretty short to get in them. I think we've officially found where the millionaires of the village uh, had their penthouse suite, so to say. This particular cave house is like huge. There's all these nooks and crannies and all these big gateway sort of entries. But what I noticed that I haven't seen in any of the other houses is that they actually carved into the roof. Like, that's actually pretty amazing. I don't know if that was like the first people who lived here or this came afterwards, but just the fact that that's there is incredible. Yeah, as you guys can see, like there's windows on the second levels and up here on the third level, 
I actually don't even know how you get up there. <laughs> um, they have little cubby holes. And I really wonder what they put in there. Did they have like knickknacks? Did they store food in there? Let me know in the comments down below what you think they put in there. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, cheese. <laughs> oh, potato. Oh, potato. Uzaklar dan gelmiş. Evet. Cheese. Ben İstanbul. İstanbul. İstanbul. Ben yaşamıyorum İstanbul'da. İstanbulluyum yani. Doğum oldu. Yani. Çoktan çıktım ben de İstanbul'dan. Evet. Yaşayamam orada artık ben. Yani. Bitmiş. Yaşanacak yer değil. İnsan değişiklik istiyor. Yani çıkmak istiyorsun. Yani. Evet. Valla iyi yapmış. Ben şimdi şey diyeyim. Amerika'da Georgia'da yaşıyorum işte. 10 sene oldu. 12 sene oldu. Ben de 2000... So I'm going to be trying Gozeme for the first time. It's in these nice little pieces. And I got mine veggie, which is exciting. This one has potato, feta, and spinach. So, mm -hmm. my favorite. Mm. That is really good. It's like super flaky. And because there wasn't really any oil or anything used, it has this nice like crispiness and char on the side and with the cheese everything just melts together it's hot it's savory it's delicious so just outside they also have a juice press and we ended up getting some freshly squeezed pomegranate juice which i've already had here in turkey it's delicious and very different from the stuff you see in superstores of that like palm real <laughs> real um uh, pomegranate juice this is like the real deal he filled it up to the brim so i'm a little scared to spill but let's see Ooh. that is like a shot of antioxidants but the juice is amazing <laughs> absolutely ridiculous i assume this is another church i think but the carvings in here is much more advanced with these columns and this dome as you guys saw earlier i thought just like the roof in that one house was crazy but this is a whole other level so so far from everything that we've seen i would probably say that this area is the most advanced sort of architecture you could say the walls scale up so high there's so many levels there's carvings there's frescoes and you really get a sense of like people 
lived here and had this incredible civilization. So if you guys are really, really, really short on time, I'd say this should be your like number one stop. Alright guys, it is my last morning here in Cappadocia and unfortunately the hot air balloons did not go up today either. A little bit sad because I was really hoping um, to see that and I guess that's just a lesson for anybody else who is thinking of coming to Cappadocia. Like, Just know that it really depends on the weather and of course in the off season there is more of a chance that it's going to get cancelled. If that's super important to you, I would recommend making sure that you book yourself at least four or five days here so you have a longer sort of window to be able to go you can just get in touch with one of the companies and they'll kind of let you know how it goes but i mean at the end of the day i am still really glad i came here i think this is just a very unique and beautiful place and would really recommend it and honestly i do see myself coming back because i do want to take a hot air balloon ride and explore the area a little bit more i feel like just with one day we kind of just touched on things and there's so much else to see but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments down below if you You've ever been to Cappadocia and what your impressions are or what you thought of the city and other than that I hope you guys are having an amazing day keep being your own kind of beautiful and I will see you soon bye guys mm -hmm.